Hello everybody and happy Thanksgiving. If you are joining me at any point today, I feel honored because this is a day for friends and family. So I'm counting you as a friend or I guess you're counting me as a friend. <laughs> but anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Today I am going into my journey into North Carolina. If you missed Tuesday's video, I will connect it up here and down below. We started by stopping in Charlotte just for a day and then we shot out to the coast. We went to a place called Cedar Island and I took you there briefly. Um, we're going to do some thrifting down from there. So there's Cedar Island, there's a place called Beaufort, there's like Atlantic Beach, um, the coast, because <laughs> we're kind of in the Outer Banks. Um, so where we were was actually on the Pamlico Sound. I'm gonna take you back there. I'm also gonna show you the ocean. We're gonna do all the things, but there's lots of thrifting in that area. And I hit a lot of little spots on one day. We kind of started at the furthest point and worked our way back. The first stop on our thrifting adventure was a place called Paws. It is all about the puppies and the cats. And so of course, you know, I wanted to hit that. It was the first one furthest out. And yeah, we're gonna start there. I spotted this really large piece and I zoomed in here with the camera so I can show you what this is. This is a different kind of print than I have shown you in the past. This is called a gicle. So see how it almost looks like paint? You can see the canvas, but you don't see a dot matrix like a normal print, right? And even that little yellow piece right there looks a bit like a little blip of paint. It's not paint though. This is a very, very high quality print called a gicle. G-I-C-L-E-E. -E. It is a kind of print that uses a really big printer that's like an inkjet. So it kind of sprays the print right onto a canvas. And so it will fool a lot of people because people will think that it is actually a painting. Now, if you have a loop and you look real close or you zoom in like I did with your phone, you can see that it's flat. So it doesn't have those telltale signs of a real art piece. The brush strokes or the clumpy paint, none of that is here. And also it's behind glass. So if this was actually an oil painting, it probably wouldn't be behind glass because the paint's usually raised like that. It's nice and big. A lot of these are listed on eBay. Not a lot are sold. They're listed pretty high though. This artist is Thomas Stilts. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the signature in the corner. Ugh. It's not easy to do. <laughs> this is a big, heavy piece. So you're probably asking me, well, why would you spend $25 on a clay, not a real painting, by somebody who there's lots on eBay and they just don't sell? Where I have my shops, it is wine country. Right near us is Geneva and Madison. We have vineyards and we have a lot of wineries. And so this is something that I think will do well in one of my booths. It is really beautifully framed. It is beautifully matted. It's all professionally done. And the piece itself is pretty spectacular. I see something over here. Oh, that's, that's a piece of pottery. That's fun. It's kind of crude, but it's $1.25. Yeah. This washing and dryer hose is here. Do you need a washer and dryer hose? No. Here, hey. will you hold that? That is your keep one just because we get, we get wash and dryer, not camper. <laughs> really nicely done piece. I think it's just a studio piece, maybe a hobbyist piece, but I love the lines on it. it. has a really nice quality feel about it and it is signed, although I can't read it. And I'm wondering based on how it's signed, if these marks in here were intentional, like if this is also a signature, because that's kind of what I'm seeing. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this but it's a pretty fantastic vase and it does look like something that would fit into my collection. But I think it'll probably go over to the shop because I have a box of pottery together when I change up one of the booths um, after the first of the year. I think this will go right into that pottery collection. And I could not go wrong for $1.25, even if I put 
eight or ten dollars on it that will be a nice little return and they have like set prices and look at how low the prices are they're amazing plates are 50 cents each pillows are 50 cents oh pillows are as priced placemats are 50 cents oh i see a little oh let's go over there i see something over there got a couple of little jam jars got a strawberry and a grape made in Japan oh and a cute little pottery wall pocket pineapple sage by Nell okay. that's cute we're definitely getting the oh nope that one's cracked and this one's got some little that one's got some little damage on it too so we'll leave those a little naked babies no you can talk i usually do some voiceover because the music anyway we were competing with the beatles <laughs> never a good thing for copyright but i was totally feeling this design right here and i didn't realize at the time that the cards that were with these pieces went with them with that price so you'll see that in a second but i was then saying definitely this piece i mean this piece was a no-brainer and i was trying to decide between a couple of these framed pieces as well uh, look at the colors on this ten dollars these were unbelievable this was such a talented artist let me show you these up close because I did decide on three of them. Yeah, let me show them with you. I think my biggest regret was that I didn't scoop all of these things <laughs> because they are so gorgeous. This artist actually created these pieces for this shop um, to help with collecting money for the animals. and. I think part of me was thinking, I gotta leave some for other people because it's so great. Um, but after I left and then I looked back at the video, I was like, oh my gosh, it was so good. It was so good. So all I know about the artist is that her name is Joan. I didn't realize that the card art went with the boxes when they had the two. This is hand done as well it's gorgeous and then she used the same image to paint on this one isn't that beautiful so this box here was $15 and it came with the card fantastic deal this box here was only $10 and this is my favorite it is black and it just pops look at those colors and look at that little is it a quail? Just a little fancy bird. The whole thing is so fanciful. Definitely a piece out of all of these that I would consider keeping. And then this little guy. Can you see the detail in that? It is incredible. And the colors, again, has so much whimsy. All hand done. This is pencil. And I love how she picked the colorful backgrounds. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with these. I think, like I said, if I keep one, it's probably gonna be this one. Um, maybe I'll do like an auction. And you know what would be great is if I did an auction on these items and I was able to send some money back to pause. That's a fantastic idea. In our next sale, which is the first, December 1st. I'm gonna bring some Christmas stuff. So these will be a little bit out of order, but they would make great Christmas presents. So maybe we'll do these um, auction style. I'm digging that idea. All right, off to the next place. Our next stop was the Salvation Army store at 2800 Bridges Street in Moorhead City, North Carolina. We 
have another one of these over in the Whimsical booth and I will probably add this, but I will add it as is because I didn't notice and you can see right there in the light, there is a crack, like somebody dropped it on his forehead. He still is good as a vase. And I used to have a black lab, so I think that's what attracted me to him. Look at those big brown eyes. I paid $1.99 and you know, I'll just be looking to get my money back on this. I'll maybe put like five bucks on it and hopefully somebody will rescue it. Earth was the big winner at this Salvation Army. Take a look at what he found. These are great if you're out. Yeah, got the they got reflectors, reflectors. On it. yeah. Like 20, at least 20, 30 dollars a piece, probably more than that. So how much they got on them? Five bucks. Okay, so do the neck test. I'm getting these. I know you're gonna get them. You'll probably need a belt, but do the neck test. Now, then you'll believe me. So they're gonna overlap a little bit. They should go right around the neck. Yep. Yep, that's me. That's how you can tell. Seriously? Yes. What else did you find? No, Ohio State shirt, T-shirt. Yeah. It's brand new, never worn. Still got this. So so this time. Salvation Army trip is all about you, huh? Ain't about me, this is your idea. <laughs> Our next stop was Loaves and Fishes at 1700 Live Oak Street in Beaufort, North Carolina. resin made for outdoor use you know hang from a tree and she's pretty adorable she's gonna go over to one of the booths for the spring and I think she will get snatched up pretty quick because she has nice details and people love the fairies y'all this place was huge it was so big it was packed full of what I would consider more low-end almost like garage sale flea market type stuff um, but the prices were awesome. I don't think we spent more than a couple of bucks. Like I was surprised because not everything had a price on it. Um, and if it didn't have a price on it, it was like a quarter or 50 cents, which this was like 50 cents, um, which was shocking because when we look this up, I think these sell brand new for like 40 bucks. And one like this that doesn't look like it's ever been used should sell for between 20 and 25. So that was fantastic for 50 cents. So this will go over to eBay. Um, I bought a book there, Keto Life. Um, this one originally retailed, um, it says it sold at Walmart for over 20 bucks, but I've been looking for more keto recipes. So this is perfect. And then these, there were a set of four stackable, like condiment dishes. It says good food, summertime, barbecue, Really fun, like ramekin shaped, just great for like sauces or whatever you wanna do. It looks like this set came in a metal uh, holder, but that's okay. I think they're great for, you know, outdoor barbecues, picnics, and I think somebody will scoop them up over at the shop. I think I paid a buck for the whole stack. <laughs> so um, yeah, so whatever I put on them will be a great deal for somebody over at the shop and they're just fun. Now they also had a bunch of Christmas stuff here and I did buy a sequin Santa box that um, I knew would sell well over at the shops because I had a bunch of them last year and they all sold. So I grabbed that, but that was the last thing. And like I said, I think I spent a couple of bucks. Yeah, because nothing had a price on it and he just kind of did all the prices when we got up to the front and that was it. I think actually, $1.80 comes to mind. I think I spent $1.80 there. And so that was pretty thrilling. So it's definitely worth the stop there if you're in the area. Loaves and fishes. All right, let's go on to the next. 
Our next stop was 1205 Arendale Street, Moorhead City, North Carolina, the Hope Mission Thrift Store. This place was a pretty big place, had quite a bit of furniture. Loved the painted Singer sewing machine there and that base was very cool. Those can be repurposed into desks and all kinds of things. That was a decent price. I spotted uh, some cool stuff in this case. A lot of it was retail, including these beautiful Italian plates down here. They had $150 on those, which if they are real and they are signed, that's probably a good deal. And then up here, I spotted some dolls. <laughs> you guys know I don't do dolls. But this had this primitive look that I kind of liked. Although I was looking it over and it didn't feel authentically old. There was just something about it. This one, however, I spotted and I thought was really neat. So although I put them both in the cart, I decided that this top one was made to look old and wasn't really that old. So she went back. She is a braided rope doll and she has some age to her and she has a little baby strapped to her back and she's pretty cute too. Let's see if I can see her face. She's in there. <laughs> I think she's so beautifully done. She's got this beautiful little star dress on and her face is so cute. Um, so this is a piece that will probably go over to the shops and yeah, I don't know much about these. I don't know where they're from. Somebody definitely made it and I love the creativity. If you know anything about her, definitely let us know. I just thought she was great. So for $3, she came home with us. Now things in this place were kind of all over the place as far as price. This hat I picked up, it is a Betmar, B-E-T-M-A-R. It is a women's hat and I love that it has this cool kind of brim on it. Um, I Yeah, I'm actually kind of in love with it. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I've worn it and I'll tell you what, I will be wearing it all winter because it's just a really nice feeling hat. Um, I believe these sell for anywhere between 30 and $50 and I spent $8 on this. So that was a really nice buy. But some of the things that I saw, I was surprised on the prices. And then other things, I was surprised how low they were. And those are the things that I scooped up. So let's go see those things. Napco girl. She's a spaghetti ballerina. She's super cute. Unfortunately, she's been broken and fixed. I didn't pay close enough attention, but I'll tell you what, it's so hard to see some of these breaks. Here, you can see it right in here. Somebody did a really good job. Um, somewhere between 20 and 25 is really what you can expect for these um, when they are perfect. So being that she has been repaired, even though it's a good repair, probably looking at about half of that, eight to $10 maybe, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I think she's cute and I rescued her and I think somebody will enjoy having her, especially since you really can't tell that she's had any repairs. When the camera wasn't on, I picked up a pie bird. Does anybody use these? I know that you're actually supposed to use them. I've seen them before in antique shops. I've never run into one while thrifting and he was only 50 cents. So of course I grabbed him. It looks like they sell about $10 
And this is another one I think will be scooped up over at the shop. I also picked up that deer and let me show you how cute he looks when I added him to my Christmas deer shelf. He's totally adorable with his little train there. Just a little made in Japan piece, but I love his little red pajamas and look at his little hoodie and his little bum. Yeah, he'll probably go into my Christmas collection unless somebody needs him. Um, I can always take him over to the shop next year, but for this year, he'll probably sit in with my Christmas stuff. So who else is a fan of the Artesania Rinconada pieces? This is one. He's a nice big one. He's a blowfish or a pufferfish. Doing that little whoo. <laughs> so cute. I got him for $5. And it looks like he should go for about $20. There's a little Made in Uruguay sticker on there. And then somewhere there is an AR which stands for, like I said, Artesania Rinconada. Almost everybody's heard of these, I'm sure. If you've watched other channels, there's people finding lots of them out there and they're just really cool. I do have a unicorn who still needs a horn and I'm gonna bring him to a sale. So, I don't know, do you wanna go to a sale too? Maybe he'll come to a sale too. Speaking of fish and the ocean, segue. <laughs> Let me take you over to see the ocean. We were right near Atlantic Beach in this area and purely out of coincidence, we have friends who vacation in this area who were there at the exact same time. So we were able to meet up with them and do lunch and let me take you to where they were right on the beach and show you the ocean. Then I'm gonna take you right back over to Cedar Island for some beach time right there on the Sound and some dinner, which included some roasted oysters on the fire. And then I'll come back here to say farewell. But let's go check that out. <laughs> Look at you, camera in his sand. Knucklehead. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I'm gonna kind of throw the towel so I would stand back. Do they yep. even look open? Yep, they popped open. Okay. Yep. Thing 
Awesome. All right, everybody, that is the end of today's video. Thanks for traveling with us and hanging out with us over in the Outer Banks. Next week, we will be traveling up through Washington, D.C. I have a cousin and her family who live there, and we got to tour the Pentagon. Now, I can't take you inside the Pentagon. That just doesn't happen. No cameras allowed. But I am going to take you on an amazing adventure to a huge thrift store right there near DC that we spent probably three hours plus in. It was two-sided and it's gonna take both Tuesday and Thursday to get through it. So plan on that for next week. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday.